Hey guys and good morning. I just left the Southeast Metro Tech's MLS meeting and we had Katina Whitfield who is the JP, the new JP for Precinct 2 Place 2 in our area. She covers Mesquite, Garland, Sunnyvale, Rowlett. So um, that was an interesting talk and I got a lot of flyers about things I can put on my calendar and it is sprinkling a little bit. So we're getting a little I'm not getting wet right now, but um, looks like it's going to be kind of a, I don't know, like rainy day. So let's see what other things I can get into. In regards to what I was talking about, the calendar stuff, um, these flyers, it gives me like one of these is this one right here, is to a class where I can get CE credit and realtors need CE credit to renew their license every two years. And I am trying to also get... Um, credits towards my brokerage license that will still take me probably um i don't know probably like three or more three more years um i do try to take a lot of classes and when i go to the texas realtors conference i also sign up for a lot of classes i usually get my credits there for like my two-year renewal i usually get enough just in that weekend alone but anyway anyway so there's like some cool things coming up like um, a smart home one and then there's like a networking event a couple networking events I might go to and then a realtor workshop so anyway some fun stuff happening but I need to make sure it's on my calendar because otherwise it's like oh wait that was today and then it's like oh yeah so I also am on several committees for the city so I have to make sure that things are not like you know they're like jiving with each other anyway I am rambling but I have today this was the only thing I had planned today I think so um where did I put my phone yep the only thing that I had planned for today was this MLS meeting so now I'm gonna go to the office I'm gonna knock out a few things first I'm gonna stop by the house see how that's going but then I'm gonna go by the office knock out my to-do list like I want to like cut that puppy in at least half so that's that's my goal <laughs> and today's kind of a like you know it's drizzling outside and stuff like that so it's not really a day that I'm gonna be out like dancing in the sunshine <laughs> so it's a good day to get everything done but first I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna go get a hot chocolate I'm feeling kind of feeling like I want a hot chocolate this morning stop by the new house then I'll go to the office and get everything all the things done today what up, Gio? Tell me. Have you have you made another? Uh... Okay, so here's the deal. This is this is Gio. He's uh, my favorite barista, and um, or is it barista? Because you're a guy. I think it's barista. So um, yeah, I'll have to ask my daughter. So anyway, so he's making my drink, my hot chocolate, and he has a YouTube channel. It hasn't uploaded anything lately, even though I've tried to encourage him and say, hey, upload something, but. I can't, I can't really speak about that because I haven't uploaded in weeks, so. I stopped by the house today and they are cleaning up the tile and preparing it to be grouted. And as you just saw, they're grouting right over there. So, things are coming along. There were a couple spots that they needed to replace the tile because either it got broken or it wasn't adhering correctly, so. He's fixing that up, he's grouting, so yeah. Um, and these guys over here, they're working on the plumbing. I don't know how long that's gonna take. Hey you guys! I am headed to another agent's office to give him the key that I borrowed and give him some feedback on the house that we saw yesterday. And also, i probably gonna go swing by Target really quick to look at some things, or at home, to look at some things there and yeah so that's what i'm doing now uh not much has happened i've just gotten some things done some things checked out the list sent some emails updated some folders and files that i have going on so it's been a good day so far marvin's working a little bit later they're putting grout in the tile at the house the new house so i don't know that i can go in there and like look at anything because you know, you're not supposed to really step on the grout. So I also need to ask if they're sealing it, what they're doing, do we need to do, what kind of maintenance do we need to do, that kind of thing. But I don't know just yet. So anyway, I'm gonna go drop off this little key and then go over to at home and possibly Target. And then uh, come back to the office and finish up some more work. Oh, oh, 
oh, oh. So, you know how I put that, well, I told you I put that table and chairs on Facebook Marketplace? Well, um, yeah. So I've gotten like tons of bites on it. And, um, but even the girl that said like, I will pay you more if you hold it for me has not uh, messaged back to say like, yeah, she's like for sure gonna meet us tonight. So I'm just gonna tell everybody, I think like, hey, I'm gonna meet you up at some like visible public location. If you wanna see the table, cause they keep asking me for a picture. I'm like, this is a picture from three weeks ago. I don't know what other pictures you want. Like, here's a picture of it right there. Do you want, I don't know, close up details? I don't know. So I'm gonna just post something later to everybody and, and say, I'm gonna be up here at this time in a public location. So if you're interested, come see us, but don't kill us, thanks. Making a quick stop at Home Goods so that I can check out some decor pieces for the new house. So by the way, I'm noticing some outdoor furniture. It's a three piece group right here where you have two chairs and a side table. And then over here is another grouping. I don't really want blue, so. This one's gray, but looks like it's reduced down to 1170. So, hmm, might be an option. This is a gorgeous color doesn't really go and it wouldn't really have a place in my office but man I love the color so pretty Looking for outdoor furniture. I'm looking for something to go at the end of the bed. We have something right now, but I'm thinking about moving that into the guest bedroom. Looking for throw pillows. I'm looking for decor to go on the various counters and cabinets that we have. So just all kinds of things, but just trying to get some good ideas of what's out there right now and what the prices are looking like. I love Mexican pottery. I love it. I love all of it. I want all of it. I just love it so much. It's just gorgeous. Just so pretty. You know, I told you guys that I'm gonna put like a cat bed at that window seat. I just don't have the dimensions of it. But some of these beds look pretty nice. No, this gray one's gonna fit my color scheme, but I don't want everything to be gray. Um, I do love gray, I really do. But I don't need everything to be gray. Cause then it's kinda like, you know, that kind of thing. So I need to find some measurements and get a color scheme for my office because I think I want to kind of do like a teal, similar to the door color, the front door color, and then do a dusty pink or a, like a pink color. And then that way, um, kind of bring more feminine touch. And then I need to decide on the colors for the master and the colors for the guest bedroom. I need to, essentially the whole house. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so I'm just kind of trying to walk around here and get some inspiration. So in our pantry, we're going to need some baskets to tuck some of our, like the noodles and snacks, kind of organize them and put them in baskets so they're not just out on the shelf.
This looks like a really cool desk, but keeping it clean would be insane. Like the fingerprints and stuff, I think that would drive me nuts. Kind of like this for organizing makeup brushes. I think that would be pretty. In general, I do white towels. So that's probably what I'll do in the new house as well. Just plain white towels. It's hard to go wrong with classic white. In the guest room, we're having a dark gray headboard for the guest bed. And I think it's gonna be queen sized, queen sized bed. And it'll probably have two nightstands. Not sure about that. We're just gonna do one or two, who knows. Then, so anyway, it's gonna be gray, dark gray headboard, or I think maybe even espresso color. Anyway, so that's pretty dark and that's kind of masculine. So I'm trying to bounce it out, but not make it too feminine. So I'm trying to think like what color do I get just like a bedspread? The cats will not be in that room very much, if at all, except when we have guests over and they go in there then. Um, so I'm not really worried about the cat hair getting on anything or anything like that, but gotta find stuff. I would love something like this in the office, but wow. just not this color, I but I love that. Coming. Okay, so I don't know where we left off. So I'm looking for, not looking for lamps because I have plenty of lamps at the house. I may have to edit this weird, but who knows. But I saw this mirror right here and I thought I could get this and then just like lay a print on one side and on the mantle of the fireplace. And then just like put some decorative pots next to it or something like that. But I was kind of hoping for something and I'm trying to find it while I'm talking to you, but something that had like a little more oomph to it a little more flair, a little more, I don't see anything, but well, like even something like this, look. So something that has like this or perhaps like a different shape, not square or rectangular. I'm looking for something more rounded or oval or even, oh, look, look. Or even something similar to that to add some interest to that area. And here's a full length mirror that's $80, but it's like gold. So I thought about doing my office in like white, a white desk, and then a pink, um, I mean a um, teal office chair, and then like a tufted um, like poof or ottoman type thing. And or maybe just like a chair, I don't know. I don't know what I wanna do. Help me, leave me a comment, help me. Oh, see this would be cute in my office. A little settee, but it's like for kids. So, not really, I mean, it'd be my size, but you know. Looking for a little cat treat holder too. I know what you're thinking, like what are you not looking for? I don't know, but look what I found. That's kind of cool, and it's only $60, but I kind of wanted a bigger mirror. I don't know, now I'm being picky. But, and see this little chair here? That's cute. That would go cute in the office. Um, so, still wasting time. Need to hurry up and get out of here. I also needed to buy pillows, um, because the pillow we have is kind of worn out, and Marvin had bought that one pillow from Quality Furniture, but he has since returned it because it just wasn't that great. And they've got great, like, um, ottomans or benches or something. But even though I like gray, I wanted, it's not the color I want. So, I still shill. I can't talk today. I shall still keep looking. I'm tired, I guess. See, I love these chairs. These would work good. But again, not the right color. <laughs> oh, 
those are really cool looking wrong color but cool looking Look. <laughs> are you gonna get me oh no oh no she's chasing me <laughs> Again, look at the color. So gorgeous. See if I could do like a tufted little ottoman or chair even. It'd be sold. That's kind of what I'm looking for. That pink chair I showed you earlier. But it's hundred bucks. I'm just not sold on it. But it would kind of work. Okay, one more pass through the decor area. I just sat in that pink chair. And it would work, but then I'm also like worried about wear and tear because I think, well, I don't know. It's a hundred dollars, but it just didn't seem super sturdy. So who knows? Um, gonna run through here one more time and see things that I absolutely don't need, but I'm like, Texas, see? Home sweet Texas. Then I see stuff like this which has a star where I'm not, but whatever. Um, and then I see these coasters. I mean, that's cute. And then these coasters, <laughs> those are cute. Those are $12, $13. This one, which doesn't have the heart in the right place, or at least I don't think it's in the right place. That's only six dollars. That's cute, right? Hmm. Cute. Yeah, I looked at it three times now. Ooh, these are cute. Look at those. Those are cute. Hey family, I am about to head to work, but I forgot to end yesterday's video. Or at least I think I did. So if I did, I'm ending it now. And I'm saying I hope you guys have a great day day and thanks for tuning in no I'm not caught up posting yet but I will be really really soon I got a super sweet message from a YouTube BFF Tess and um, yeah I got a I got a super sweet message from her saying she missed me she missed my postings I just locked the door hey girl I'm still recording videos I just haven't had a chance to edit and upload and I don't even do that much editing but I do have to like string the clips together so it's not just like a sit down video where i'm like hey welcome to my channel anyway so i'm gonna do that super soon like really soon i know i keep saying that but i'm i'm for real this time and i think i'm gonna give up procrastinating for lent <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm not i'm gonna give up carbs well not all carbs i'm giving up bread we haven't defined what I'm giving up, but you'll have to watch my future videos to find out what I did give up. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna end yesterday's video right now. Hope you guys, guys have a great day. Had a great day. We'll have a great day as you're watching this, whatever time it may be, but I will see you soon. Bye.